Good morning everyone, it's Darlene from Chalk Couture. I'm going to show you this fun Mother's Day sign. I'm going to be doing an event for a Girl Scout troop and so I wanted to try this out and make sure it works. I've got my chalk paste already stirred up over here. You want it to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. So when you open it, if it's too thick, you are just going to take your little spray bottle, going to spray some water in there and stir it up until it's the correct consistency. If it ever was too thin, if you added too much water, no worries. Just let it sit for five or 10 minutes and it will start to thicken up again. And I'm using a multi-tool on our storm. This is a super stash. There's three colors that come in the super stash, the eight ounce. So we have Storm, our black velvet, and bright white. And a multi-tool is great to get to the bottom on those. These are just our little stir sticks. You can use little makeup sticks. You could use a spoon if you had to, no worries. This is Honeydew, is this color. So I just chose a pretty basic palette. I'm gonna do all of the words in Storm. I'm gonna do the leaves in Honeydew. There are little accents. Um, yep, it goes like that. See, if I wanted to, I could match these up. I'm just gonna simply lay it on top and do, I'm gonna do these with my current jam. And then I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do leaves down here too. So leaves at the top, leaves at the bottom my little berries and then here's some arrows that's really cute it goes around the words is so those will be in current jam also so I have three colors and these are silk screen transfers they are reusable I generally will fold the corners down so it's easier to pull my transfer off when I put it down onto my surface and the backer sheet is glossy so the backer sheet on this side where you stick it to is glossy the side that you don't want to put it on is a matte finish I put an X on there to tell myself do not put it back on this side so that is simply what that is for is to tell you which side not to put it back on so I know that some people write the name of the transfer I don't I make it easy I simply put an X it is quick no one else is going to be using my transfers but me generally so no worries all right so these are brand new what do we do with brand new transfers we have to fuzz them and our surface here let me show you that first sorry getting ahead of myself our surface surface is simply a board that I've painted white and it has a little bit of blue accent, which was not on purpose. I, I grabbed a rag to dust it, a paper towel, and I actually had some of the couture teal from the previous project. And so then I just decided to just make some little swishies and I, then I sprayed it with water, smoothed it out. So it has a little bit, bit of blue in there. You could do whatever you want. You could do this on a chalkboard. Um, you can do it on any piece of wood that is smooth. When you get into the bumpy, bumpy stuff, it makes it a little more difficult for a smooth finish. So I have waxed this because it's not a chalk couture surface and not a, a real, real chalkboard. So uh, this is the wax that I used. All I did was put a little bit on, I smoothed it, rubbed it off, took a paper towel and I got off all the excess. So it's, it's smooth, you can feel that it is kind of slick but it's not sticky so I've gotten off most of the wax you only need a really thin coat of wax on there so you're going to peel your your backer sheet off of your transfer set that to the side because you are going to put that back on our transfers are reusable corporate says eight to twelve times I say many more if you take care of it the key is to wash them as soon as you are done using them. Do not let the chalk paste dry in your transfers. It's stuck to my finger, I'm trying to get it even right there. And I wanted to make sure I'm even on my screen. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth that out. 
don't want any chalk paste to go underneath there. That will create a little air bubble and it won't give you a nice clean finish. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my chalk paste and put it on here. And then I'm going to take a squeegee. And I've told you, I love these mini squeegees. We used to have to cut our squeegees in half to get the smaller sizes. Chalk Couture came out with these minis and I use them all the time. They're the perfect size. They're great to put in our little kits so that people can have a squeegee when they purchase a kit and it's not one that you've had to cut and it's a little wonky, it's not completely even. So they do listen to us when we say we need these things and that was pretty awesome. Okay, so I have my top one done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my transfer. You're always gonna to pull top to bottom or side to side. I like that color, that is a good color. We're gonna do the same down here. I am just gonna to try to get it even. I see a piece of hair, obviously my hair. <laughs> Nothing new about that. Shedding hair is the norm for me. We all shed hair. I shed more, I think. Okay, so I have that smoothed out. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. And all I'm doing is I'm spreading the chalk paste throughout my transfer. I can see through it. You can see if you've gotten all of the areas because it will still be white if you haven't. And then you're just going to scrape off the excess. It goes back into your jar so you can use that. We don't like to waste our chalk paste. We can use it on the next project. So you just want to scrape it clean. Doesn't do any good to have it on the top because that's just going to get washed away. The only thing that's going to stick to is, is what's underneath. I'm going to peel your transfer and then I'm going to dry this. So I put my transfer into a water bath, which is simply a container of water so that it can sit there and it can soak until I have time to clean it. I will wash all of my transfers as soon as I'm done. So I'm going to dry this with a heat gun. This is an industrial heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. You can use a craft heat gun. Continually moving it so I don't bubble up my chalk paste. I'm going to turn it to this air so that I get it back down to room temperature. Okay, so now we are going to do our home is where our mom is and then after that we'll do our other stuff we'll do the little berries and we'll do the arrows so we need to fuzz this so we're peeling our backer off of our transfer putting this down here so have you noticed how these are um you can see the silk screen so on as on a stencil, all the centers would be cut out. You wouldn't have the center of the O. You'd have to paint that in. It, it's really unique. I love these. It's super awesome. Aw, these are going to be perfect for the girls for their mother's, for mother's Day. And I'm sure they're going to do a variety of colors. Like some moms might like purple. I would love purple. I'm almost...